Alongside Mike Robinson, I'm Mark Koontz. It's time for Big Play Breakdown, presented by Grogenstown and Charlie's Dodge. And Mike, Rob, coming up this week, we've got the City League semifinals on a Thursday. Wait will take on Woodward. Start will take on Rogers. Just this past Thursday, it was start against Rogers. Start won that game 25-19. Now, that game, if it would have gone the other way, if Rogers would have won, Rogers would have been the three seed. Start would have been the two seed. So this, this, this matchup wasn't set last week, so you couldn't hide anything. Start needed to win this game. Rogers needed to win this game. And these two teams, they scored points in two very different ways against each other last weekend. Yeah, 100%, Mark. You were absolutely right. Both of these teams couldn't hide anything. They had to show it all because if you wanted to get to that playoffs, you needed it. So let's take a look at what we're going to break down right here. Two well-coached teams here. Let me say that first and foremost. You see a young quarterback here, Mr. Russell, drop a dime here to Mr. Gibson. It looks happened so fast. You don't know what happened. It was late in the game, but early in the fourth, but it was a play that needed to be made. Take a look here. They're in max protection here. You got your guys up front blocking, and then you got two fullbacks. So they send three guys out on routes. But then, it's still not enough for a start. They got two defensive backs covering them. Let Gibson slip behind him. I guarantee you that young man's fast because those two defenders for start are fast as well. This is a huge play for them. They won't get the point after. So you see that they can drop dimes in the air. Well, let's take a look at start. Let's see what they can do. Backup quarterback hops in, makes a big play. Look at this right here. This is a huge play. That's not a fumble, but worry, look at what happened on the play. Let's take a look. Look at the motion, man. Mr. Lewis right here is going to come into motion. He's got a little bit of action here that you're going to see. Not too much, but it's enough. When you take a look at the secondary, look at the linebackers. Look how aggressive they get on the play fake, and that is how Lewis slips back. He's able to sit down in that pocket, evades the pressure, and drops a dime as well. This is a big play because look what the score is, and look at the time of the game. It's three minutes left in the game. You needed that. Taking a look on the following, on the same drive, Mr. Coffee gets the ball. He gets it down to the one yard line. This is a ground and pound attack by the Start Spartans. They're a physical football team. Let's take a look at some more of this offensive line play because I just love the offensive line, Mark. Take a look at Big 60 right here. He is getting up in these guys, and this is just physical. It almost looked like a Statue of Liberty play. He gets down to the goal line, running past a few defenders and then he gets the touchdown afterwards. Start gets the big victory. They show that size and power can win football games. And Coffee's been one of the big differences for Start down the stretches. They've, they've really been pounding the ball with Coffee had the two touchdowns against Rodgers. And going into this rematch with Rodgers, Coffee might be even more important because as we saw in those two big plays from the Start Spartans, it was not Jeremiah Berenger quarterback. It was the backup quarterback, Corey Robinson. Berenger was hurt against Rodgers. We don't know at this point if Berenger will be able to go in the semifinal game. If he can't go, they'll go with Robinson, who has seen playing time this year because Berenger's had missed a few games because of injuries. Yeah, no doubt about it. Robinson is a valuable resource for this football team. He's been, he's been able to play some varsity football last year for this team. This year, Coach Lewis likes to go both go with both of these guys because, you know, Robinson is the future, but you've got to respect the present. And I think another interesting part about this matchup is, okay, we've seen this, particularly this year, we've seen this many times with the, the regular season rematch because everybody got into the postseason. But yes. it, it, the difference with this one is it's just one week later. So not only is the film fresh, but the wounds, the bruises, those are still fresh. It's still fresh in everybody's mind exactly what these two teams did against each other. Well, I guarantee you none of these coaches have slept all week. You know, they're sitting here preparing, knowing that they gave their best shot to each other, knowing that, hey, it's up to the players now. The players are going to have to step up and be the difference because the game plan is going to stay the same. Execute, execute, execute. Which group of players are going to step up for this City League playoff game? The other semifinal, as we mentioned, pits weight against uh, Woodward. Now, Woodward had a last week off because uh, Scott took the bye week, so yep. they've rested. Wait got the win over Bowser last week. Wait beat Woodward their regular season matchup 15-10. How do you see that one show shaping up? Wait is a machine. Coach Peacock got this team rocking and rolling. He was a part of that Brian Lee staff last year, so he carries over that same mentality, that physical bad boy east side mentality, and that pride is there. This is a really good football team, and you got to love quarterback Hess. He is a good one. He is a gym. Yeah, and we've seen Heslett affect both sides of the ball, both as quarterback as well yes. as defensive back. He also is the punter for weight as well. Now, Mike Jewell will be joining us a little bit later on in this week. He'll have much more on both of these matchups. And don't forget, on Thursday, you can see both of these games live on BCSN and BCSN2 as the City League semifinals coming here. And then next Thursday, the following Thursday, will be the City League championship game. This year, that championship game will be played at Bowser High School. We're going to take a break here on Sports Nightly. When we return, Claire Dow will return with this week's top five plays. See if your favorite team perhaps made the list.
The Big Play Breakdown is presented by Grogan's Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram.